with any treatment against cancer, you might have a reaction of the body that is to uh, send some antibodies against the drug. These are called anti-drug antibodies, ADAs. We know that for any IV drug, we see ADAs in the blood. It's a, let's say, physiologic reaction. When you give an immunotherapy, since you stimulate the immune system, you can expect much more anti-drug antibodies. So in a recent review, we have compared all the data that are available for the level of anti-drug antibodies against all the uh, antibodies against PD-1, PD-L1, or CTLA-4. And the level that we can find in the blood is very different. It can be very high for some antibodies, very low for the other one. And one expectation is, is this level anti-drug antibody might explain the difference that we see in some trials on the efficacy of one antibody against another one. And it's not obvious. I have to say that for the first uh, analysis that we have seen, we anticipated that these anti-drug antibody would block the drug. But in fact, in some studies, it's the other way around. When we find anti-drug uh, ADAs, it means that the immune system is activated, so it's a good sign. It's a sign of reactivity to the drug. So this is something that we have to monitor in the clinical trials, but uh, the, the link between appearance of ADAs and efficacy of immune checkpoint inhibitor is much more complex than uh, anticipated.